Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how to create a Node.js project inside a React project and if I run npm start, Node.js project will also run and React project also will run with the one command. We don't want to run backend separately, okay? Yep, let's start. First, I am going to create a React project. So, I am going to click open project and I am going to choose one, one file. It's like, I just create a React and Node. Okay, I just select this file. I mean folder and I'm going to I'm going to close this one don't know this yep just try to check whether I'm in current folder or not yeah right now I'm in current folder okay I'm going to create a react project so npx create hyphen react hyphen app and app name okay react or r and n Make sure to connect internet because it's, it will install some necessary packages when react project is creating okay yeah now our project is ready so i'm going to copy this one we need to go inside react project so paste that and i need to copy this and run this this is the command to run our react project okay yeah this is our react project okay now react project is running This is a our React project. Okay, React is running. Yeah, I'm going to create a Node.js backend inside this React. So I'm going to give server. Copy this file and inside server, I'm going to create one file. It's name dot server server dot js. Okay, and click enter. Now I need to go inside this server file and if I type ls, yeah, that server file.js is showing, right? So, now we are in the correct directory. Right now, I'm going to run this command, npm init. This is for a initialization of creating a backend code, okay? I don't want to give anything. I just directly leave an auto-suggestion. It's automatically give name as server because we already created server.js file, right? Yep. Endpoint is also automatically getting by this because we already created that file yep everything is fine now yeah good to go our backend is ready need to create a port so we need to create port from express.js so we need to install this copy that and paste that and install it yep it is installed now if you go to package.json it is showing express inside the dependencies right so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to import that in JS. We can import like this. I mean not JS, okay? In JS also require to require it's express. And I mean I'm going to create a const app and I'm going to get this express and copy that and paste that and should listen thousand port and if this port is running successful i need to run i mean pin console this okay running port thousand save this and if i type npm start yep i got this console in the terminal right now this backend code is running if i add any console here test one and save this see this port is not listening this one right so if i want to listen change means we need to install this nodemon so copy this nodemon and stop this and install this so just copy this nodemon and go to package dot json instead of node i'm going to use this node one now it will listen what if i change anything inside this sorry i already installed npm start see the test one is running now i mean printed if i duplicate this for a two more time and if i save see this port listening what are all is changing right yep now this is awesome 
yeah now back end is ready i'm going to sync this back end to a front end so i'm going to stop this and i'm going to the main file is react project now if i run npm start here means react project will run not the server project okay so what will i do i'm going to uh, react package.json here we need to modify this dot so we need to use this one concurrently okay copy this and install this in react project this will use to run the node.js and react.js in one command okay this is also installed see this yep need to modify this script so i just copy this and instead of this i just modifying that here what is this means we using that concurrently to run this react project and backend code okay you see this is previous react running command and here i just pointing this server we don't want to add a capital or anything you just add a small s it is, this server is pointing this one i mean this server okay this folder this is actually like folder name now if i save this one and if i run npm start in the react project it will run back end and front end everything see the test test is printing here and now react project will open yep react is also opened if i modify anything like inside this i just remove this header everything i just add a react and node i save yes you can see this one and if i go to backend code it's already opened here if i duplicate this for uh, this many times and if i save you see this console is also listening right yeah that's it you can sync your backend with the front end like this i think this is what i try to tell in this video i think this video will help you bye bye